Hey guys, I'm gonna today show you how to briefly spot weld, use a, a Sunco 7970H uh, spot welder or something similar. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and make a P group. This is a four. This is for my 12S 2P. Um, so you'll need to cut out uh, some length of the nickel. Make sure you use some good nickel. Uh, this is a two millimeter. And I'm just gonna cut uh, some pieces out first. So I have some pieces that I can work with. Um, I'm just using a scissor right now because I don't really have a cutting tool. I don't really have room in my house to put big tools, so I just like to keep it simple. Um, use the simplest tool I have. Of course, get a good spot welder. Uh, I try to buy one of the more more expensive uh, Sunco spot welders. It's got pretty good power. Um, so let's say I got a bunch of these nickel scripts. And for the back, we're just going to go ahead and measure it out, and I'm going to go as far as possible, and I'm going to get cut, go ahead and cut it again. Um, you can measure it exactly from the start, but just because uh, I don't have a cutter, so I'm just trying to go as fast as I can. I'm wasting a little bit of nickel, but I can work a little bit faster this way. So let me get four strips, because I'm going to connect all the four batteries. Uh, if you're worried about current and stuff, I'll cover that in the next video, so subscribe. And uh, I'll cover, uh, I'm, I'm going to be using uh, copper tinned wires to connect the P-groups. Uh, th those are rated for almost 60 amps. So, using two of them, you get almost 120 amps. But for the main P-group, you don't really need to use more than one. Because we're going to connect them <coughs> using a, a tin canned copper anyway. So you see how when you cut it, it's all uneven. An easy way to do it is get something real flat, put it on a flat surface, and just go like that, and boom, it's flat. All right? You don't need complicated tools, you just need to use your common sense uh, to do that. All right. That looks really good. It should feel really good. Now, as far as the sun goes, you really want to just uh, set them at the highest level. For mine, uh, I've got 6P, 8P, this on, this all the way down. Uh, cluster pulses all the way to the right. 90, 2, um, that's the setting. Uh, you can play with it, but I just have it on the highest setting because these things are not that strong. And I'm using uh, 2 millimeter, or is it point, point two, um, 2 millimeter thick? Point 0.2, sorry. So next, what you're going to do is... Go ahead and grab this. Now, when you spot weld, oh, here's an important point that's going to help. Um, when you spot weld, make sure you don't press down too hard or too soft, somewhere in between. And go ahead and press down on it. And you should get a nice, a nice weld on there. And I usually like to do this. I like to start on the right and go to the left, all the way to the left. All right, and I'll also get the edges, basically the edges of the battery. You go ahead and do that and get the edges. Once I get the two edges, I'll get uh, two edges from the other way. This way, if the battery is being pulled laterally or horizontally or whatever, um, you have sort of a different weld that won't come off. Instead of just doing it in one direction, uh, I find this to be a little bit. So I get all the edges of the battery pretty much. Uh, next, go ahead and put this one in there. Just make sure for the, this is a negative terminal. Negative terminal, you can make it as long as possible. Just make sure it doesn't go over the battery because you don't want to have sharp edges. So I'm going to go to the right edge here, left, left edge here, uh, right, left edge here, and left, right, right edge here. I'm going to turn around and go uh, right edge over here. Left edge over here, and right edge over here, and right over here too. All right, that's a nice weld. You can see it's not coming off. And later we're gonna uh, shrink wrap it, do all that good stuff so it won't come off. And I'm gonna actually put uh, Teflon, not Teflon tape, this tape here. I forgot what it's called again. Just put it over and it makes it real secure. And then you're gonna shrink wrap it. Um, now I'm gonna go crossway. Now, when you do the crossway, sort of have it overlap. What I like to do is 
still have access to the bottom of the battery so I can solder uh, not just to the, to the uh, nickel plate uh, but to the actual battery. So I'm going to go ahead and start again on the right side and the left side, the left edge and then I'm going to go to the left edge of the right one and also right edge here. And I just soldered it, you can see, onto the battery, not onto the nickel plate. And next I'm going to do uh, additional two on top of the nickel plate. This way, uh, the, the second nickel plate you use keeps the first one very, very tight. Right? And this way it, it's, it's more or less uh, very, more, more secure. You don't want to just, you know, spot weld on top of it most of the time because these spot welds are not that strong. It's a little too long, so we'll cut it a little bit. Uh, what you want to do is just stay away from it, doing that. And let me go in the right corner here, left corner here. Um, this is just something I thought of while <laughs> doing this, but I find this a lot more secure method uh, to make sure your nickel plate uh, strips stay on, on, on your battery. All right. And that's the, the downside is done. Uh, pretty good weld. It doesn't have to be like super big weld. Because you also have to think about uh, sometimes battery, you have to fix it or replace it. If you make it too strong, then later on, you may have problems taking it back out. So this one has a little gap here. Let me do, let me do this. Um, another tip you can do, if it's not welding, you don't have a powerful welder, just hit it once and then hit it again. All right? That'll sort of give it uh, another, another touch. Okay, that one's pretty satisfactory. Uh, okay, for the front, here's something I do different from everyone else. I did have a video on it. I'm gonna measure where the circles are because you don't wanna get on the outside. The outside is actually the negative terminal. So what you're gonna do is go ahead and cut out uh, this much length, maybe a little bit bigger. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna go ahead and cut this into a elliptical shape. What you can do is just put your thumb on there and follow your thumb. And what this does is uh, it prevents shorts. Even though I'm using insulator rings, what it does is uh, it prevents the strip from ever touching the outer parts. All right, this way, this way if your battery packs uh, you know, hit something, you know, from writing or something, and it, your battery pack this side hits the case, it's not going to hit the outside and make it come up, right? That's another little, little thing I, I did. So same thing for this, just make sure you don't solder over the insulator ring, because if you have a, uh, if you're using powerful enough a spot welder, it can go straight through and you can short your battery. So always stay within the inner ring. All right, you don't ever want to go over the, the strips there. I do, For this one, I don't have as much space, so I just do uh, just, just one. Yeah. All right, that looks pretty good. Um, and do that. And this way, as you can see, uh, there's no way for this strip to come off if, if it's on the outside. Uh, sometimes what can happen, it can, it can crush into it and then the nickel strip can pop off. It just keeps it safer. And this is just something I figured out or something I started doing and uh, seems to work really well. Uh, I've had zero batteries that actually uh, stop working. Um, I've abused batteries and they stop. They they they're still on though. My batteries never, you know, never uh, was torn apart from actually just writing and vibrations. Um, so I don't know. I believe I believe I believe in my technical skills. I guess. 
This is good. I just make sure to cut it exact length and curvature so it doesn't go over the circles. Just like that. And that just that just keeps it more secure too. So let me go ahead and spot weld this. Alright. And almost done here. And I'm going to do the same thing for the side. Um, but that's pretty much it. I don't want to make this video too long. It's getting wrong already. Uh, once I'm done, I'll have something like this. You see how that's nice. It's not it, the outside is still open. That really prevents uh, shorts from the outside and just keeps it more together. All right, it should look like that. And then after that, the second part, what I'm doing, I'll make a short video for you guys. I'm gonna go ahead and connect the P groups with this flexible wire so I can also fold it easily. Uh, also, this can carry a lot more current than these nickel strips. Have a great day.